Good morning. We are at the convention, ACC Liverpool. <coughs> this is who I'm with today. <laughs> and we are in the queue.
deployed technology and data uh, hugely and transformed how it interacts with, with society. <laughs>
patients, healthcare providers to basically strengthen the relationship between uh, healthcare professionals and LGBTQ plus communities. Uh, okay, thank you. And you? Yeah. Uh, yeah, and so interestingly, I noticed you're in King's College Hospital, yeah. which is one of the trusts that's currently taking part in the NHS Rainbow Badge Assessment Model, uh, which is fantastic. We have 40 trusts going through that assessment at the moment. They're going to be accredited on the whole of trust life. So what it's like as an LGBT person, as a patient, but also as a member of staff. Yes. At the end, they get their um, feedback report and they get an action plan, which allows them to really look at making meaningful change to make those improvements for LGBT plus people. Um, we're just about actually to recruit for another 27 trusts. Um, and then we will be having further recruitment going forward as well because we've got support from NHS England's LGBT health team. Um, you can find us on at Rainbow NHS Badge on Twitter. Uh, do drop us a like if you don't already follow us. Um, and arrange some one of information sessions. Okay. And now we're expanding. Yeah. yeah exactly. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Something about shared life was easy. That's all right. Yeah. Um, Shared Lives is a social care service where somebody that needs support moves into an approved carer's home. So it's like on the ordinary street, just like where you or I would live. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. And they decide that they are caring and they've got a spare room. Oh, thank you. Thank you. We, <laughs> thank you. We, yeah. we live with the Shared Lives carer. Can we talk about oh, Shared Lives? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, hello. Shared Lives is a big worldwide company. And, uh, People have come out of hospital, if they've got nowhere to go or whatever, then they get in touch with a social worker, and then the social worker refers them to PSS, and then PSS come along and introduce themselves to yes, and then you can just meet for one night or a few weeks, like a short break, and that's why um, it could be when you're coming out of hospital, if you've got mental ill health or dementia, or mainly learning disabilities, yeah. and mental, oh, I said mental ill health. If you're escaping domestic abuse, so it can be really for anybody who needs support and has that social care or health funding. Mm -hmm. um, we have more beds in the hospital for those people who need them, yeah. and you'll yeah. be able to accommodate the, the, the other. That's the hospital. Thank you. So this There's loads of people. So yeah, that's it for today. See ya!